welcome to this another episode with me arshi i hope you guys are doing good right the dimag mein bahut sare questions hote hain jab hum baat mba ki kar rahe hote hain questions zyada tar to college se related hote hain but ek aur question that mba ke baad college life kaisi hoti hai ye bhi i think sab ek na ek baar student ke dimag mein aata hai So I have somebody very special with me, Karima. Please introduce yourself so that we get to have an idea that what we're going to discuss about. Thanks, thanks Arshi. Thanks for having me here. So myself, Garima. I'm a MBA graduate. I did my uh, MBA from Symbiosis Pune, and prior to my MBA, I did BBA from Nirmal University, Ahmedabad. Right after my BBA, I decided to uh, take a year off and prepare for my MBA entrance exams, like CAT, SNAP, and all the relevant exams that one goes through. So that that that's as per my education. Uh, during my BBA and MBA, I've also done a lot of internships every summer. of of course to basically uh, enrich my profile that's been about me and apart from uh, educational background i'm also a fitness enthusiast i am a national level gymnastics and national uh, rope malikam player so moving to my next question i mean you breathed about yourself also you know the best part what you didn't mention ki that she's currently working as a chart analyst at morgan stanley i think jab hum companies ki baat kar rahe hote hain to mujhe jitna knowledge hai har student ki kuch dream companies hoti hain aur usme se you know morgan stanley is a very important role so she's there working since 2 years old most of i'm not wrong karima right i think you know you're currently working with morning stadium the good part is you've converted your internship into a pre placement offer so what are students saying they are able to make it when it comes to internship to their dream companies but how they can convert their internship into you know placement what are the tips what you wanted to give to these students all right so uh Luckily I would say the upcoming batches they uh they won't have to do a virtual internship because in my case it was a covid time my entire internship was virtual so you can uh, you know imagine how difficult it would be to network with people in the in the organization right but uh it's good that you are going to be in office meeting individuals in person so of course network networking comes very handy when it comes to uh, getting a pp from internship because through networking people would know you see a lot of interns would be coming with you but how can you make an impression and how can you have an edge over others would be first would be networking talk to different leadership uh, you know uh, people people in leadership uh, positions because and apart from that uh, make sure that you go and uh, take initiatives uh, whatever kind of events happening in company make sure you raise your hand ask questions in town hall meetings you know uh, make sure that you go and help them in solving their problems not just doing your projects or internship projects ask them what help do, do they need any uh, you know any problem areas that they are facing right now and how can you be of help so you can apply your mba knowledge and you know uh, use real time skills to make leaders or managers realize that you are of you you are of use and you have the required skills and capabilities to be and full, be a full time employee of this organization so take initiative talk to people and be of help make an impact what do you think you know uh, i mean it's been 2 years you know and now you cannot call yourself a fresher how important internship can play role in each student's life who are doing mba i mean how internships are important in every student's life what do you think yes of course internships are important be it a one month or two month internship because you get to know the culture the corporate culture how people work how uh, you know teams work because in college it's only like okay uh, individual assignment group assignment so that's why you learn how to work with people you learn team dynamics in mba and internships give you the practical platform as to how to solve real life problems we do uh, solve excel assignments and all but when you do an internship you actually use data you actually uh, you know solve real life business problems so internships give you that uh, a sense of how your job's going to look like in future so always always go for internship and uh, as i said grow your professional network and that really helps when it when you're an interning somewhere so because of course uh, you get a lot of people there in your team in your seniors so try keeping a contact with them because once you have done with your internship they will remember you okay she or, she or he was an active intern let's give him the opportunity to convert into a full time offer so you have to create an impact there i also have this one question though you a little bit give me an idea that how to apply for your internship by reaching out to your seniors but how exactly applied for your internship what was the 
process yeah so uh, right after i talked to my senior uh, she said that it's been 3 days that uh, ms has up, uh, you know posted on linkedin so just rush and apply for it before they you know close out the application so i uh, opened their jd i uh, went through it and i uh, uploaded my resume uh, within a week's time i got the uh, i got a call from ms hr saying that your uh, resume is shortlisted and we have scheduled an interview uh, next month it was i think december 2019 that they scheduled the interview although it was a summer internship so you see the process begins like 4 to 5 months prior to your actual internship period this is why i told you to you know keep tabs on internships postings throughout the year so uh, december 2019 was my interview and uh, i did a very good thing of you know consulting uh, my professor in uh, symbiosis because the jd was quite straightforward but i still wanted to prepare myself as to how i can you know be at par with their uh, expectations from an intern so i talked to my uh, professor like point by point every jd point we discussed for i think for an hour the entire conversation and he told me how i can you know answer in an interview how should i leverage the learnings that i've had in mba and bba to you know uh, answer their questions on particularly uh, jd related questions so this is how i prepped myself for the interview for uh, ms internship and, and what uh, tips do you want to give to your juniors you know, who are uh, might be appearing for their internship what tips you wanted to give it to them all right so first one would be to whatever you are learning in mba make a note of it whatever new skills because you know be it data analytics be a new formula in excel anything new that you learn during mba or during a graduation make a note of it it will come handy when you want to map those skills to the uh, the skills required in the jd or by the company so this is how you can you know uh, connect the dots because you know what, what happens during interview a lot of people are you know they just go blank they forget what they've learned so far they just focus on am i am i am i doing right am i presenting myself better so what i would suggest is whatever you have learned make a key note of it and use those words use those skills in your interview showcase that you know a lot of things number one would be that second uh, always before the interview or before gd or whatever rounds are there always always consult with your seniors with your professor or in your networking group because they can add a lot of value to how you can answer better of course you should trust yourself and you know be true to yourself but it's always better to uh, consult other people before going to an interview it was literally a good experience i mean yeah thank you so much thank you arshi and thank you everyone all the best yeah okay Thank you.